Welcome back everyone, and I'm um, still prototyping with video textures. Um, so yesterday I put together a sphere, and uh, I got some normal lines to show me how the normals are. So let me refresh to get the textures running. And there we go. We got ourselves a video texture running. And uh, it's warped. Uh, the video is warped, and I'm now we're seeing it on the outside of the queue, a, s a sphere. But if we walk inside the sphere, you'll see it actually works pretty well. Um, it didn't. It's treated very well as a 360 video. Um, I don't know if it's the normals or not the normals, the UVs or just the overall shape that it still looks a little um, warped, uh, especially in the front. Um, I don't know if maybe a cylinder would be a better shape for this specific video. Um, I'm still kind of new to doing things like this. so um, But overall, it seems to be working pretty well for my, f I guess, second attempt. You know, first attempt was a cube. Now I'm doing a sphere. Uh, maybe I'll try again with a cylinder, see if this video will work better. Or maybe I should just look at other videos to see, you know, if they work better in a sphere. Um, but yeah. Uh, this might end up becoming a future um, video uh, for my uh, WebGL 2.0 series. So this uh, might be a fun thing for people to learn how to do, kind of basically a 360 video. and They can turn around and make a, you know, uh, a 3D player. Uh, some people might like that. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, see you guys in the future.